Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Tax to Pay. Today we're going to be looking at Free Agent and how to do a VAT return inside Free Agent. Uh, Free Agent have made this so software very simple. Um, I speak to Free Agent quite regularly, and the target market they're going for are one man bands or small businesses um, that need to have a software package but don't need to be overloaded with complicated processes or complicated um, wording and jargon. So the first thing that we're gonna to do today is have a look at our VAT settings to make sure that we've got the VAT settings correct. Um, and then we're gonna go and actually do a VAT return. So as you can see, we're on the dashboard here. So the first option that we need to go is we need to go to the top right. So it's generally your company name. Hit the drop down arrow and you'll see settings. And now you've got obviously the many options that you've got. Uh, and we want to go to this one, accounting, tax and VAT. Now we want to go to VAT registration and it will just ask some very, very simple questions. Are you VAT registered? There are your three options. Registered, registration applied for, deregistered. What's your VAT number? You enter the VAT number. Effective date registration. So this will be on your VAT certificate. It will be the date that you've registered. The first VAT return period end date. Um, so this again is the first VAT return that's on your VAT certificate, what accounting basis are you using? So are you invoice or cash, cash accounting, or are you accrual or invoice based? Um, were you on flat rate scheme on your VAT registration, yes or no? And do you need to enable EC VAT reporting? So if you sell to Europe or you buy from Europe, um, if you do a lot of digital sales, um, because you're a digital company, you might be under the VAT MOS scheme. Um, so it enables you to obviously add that option as well. This is a theme throughout Free Agent where they just ask some simple questions to get the right um, option set. They don't ask convoluted, long winded options and they don't give you a vast variety of options. It's very, very simple, very targeted to what we need it to be. Once you're done, you just hit save changes and it says here your settings have successfully been updated. Now, what you would do is you would go through, enter sales invoices, your purchases, your petty cash, and do your bank reconciliation and everything else. Once you've done all that and you come to the end of the quarter and you then need to actually submit, what you would actually do is go to taxes and go to VAT. Now, what I like about Free Agent is it gives you a list of VAT returns the list of the liabilities. Also, if you make any payments, and it runs it like a bank account. So the column on the right hand side is the balance due. So you can very much clearly see where you're standing with HMRC with reference to VAT. You can then make the necessary adjustments in your business to make sure that you're on top of it. If you're not paying enough, or you might have had some cash flow issues, you might have had a big customer that hasn't paid you for a long time, so you haven't been able to keep up to date, but now they've paid you. So now you can see, right, what do I have to pay the revenue? Um, for to get my VAT up to date. You'll see here that a lot of our VAT returns are zero. That's not a problem. This is a demo company, so don't be surprised with that. But obviously you can see that on the period ending 0319, which is the second from the bottom, we have a liability of 1200 pounds. So if I click on that return itself, um, it shows us the VAT return boxes one to nine and what, what the relevant figures are inside it. Now, this is obviously very simple. It's really two transactions, but obviously yours would have purchases in it, um, sales in it, and you might want to see, right, how is this made up? You just click on this option here, full report, and it'll just give you a nice big breakdown. This is what's in box one. This is what's in box six. This is how these are made up. That's what's box eight with reference to EC sales. Um, and it will do the same for purchases. So you can very much see how the return is made up but you'd also be able to then tell if you've made a mistake, you've put something in that's not meant to be VATable, but it is, um, that you've put it in as VAT. Um, you'd also see if you've put something under the wrong VAT code and everything else. Um, so you could be able to very quickly see if there's any human error mistakes, which everyone does, and no one's perfect. Um, one thing, I, one bit I should inform you about free agent. 
To file with HMRC, you click this button, but this button will not appear until you've cleared your bank feed. So for the period that you're doing, so i.e. this period is the 1st of January 2019 to the 31st of March 2019. If you have a bank feed, which I would recommend you to do uh, on any software, because it makes your life a lot easier and you can customize and automate the software as much as possible. Um, but if you, with free agent, if you have transactions that are unexplained um, in that period, this button will not appear. So you're not able to file your VAT return through free agent until you've cleared that bank feed, which is not a bad option to have. It's basically making you complete the quarter in its entirety rather than just doing the invoices and sales invoices and the purchase invoices and maybe the petty cash it's asking to explain every transaction um, which is not hard to do on a bank feed um, it's very very quick it's it's very intelligent so if it finds that there's a purchase invoice for that amount of money that's been paid out to that supplier it will try and match it off so that's not a problem but until you clear that bank feed this option will not appear to file with HMRC. When you click this option to file online with HMRC, it does ask you to double check everything. Um, check that your registration and your dates are right, check that your schemes are right, check that you've entered everything. Um, so it just gives you that final option to um, make sure that everything has been put in. Um, and once you have, you'd enter your government gateway ID and your password and then hit submit back return and then that will submit it directly to HMRC. You'd also have to make the payment, or if you've got a DD set up with HMRC, uh, they would take it automatically as needed. Um, and that is filing a VAT return with, with free agent. It's a very, very simple process. It goes with the whole ethos of the software. It's a very, very simple process to deal with. Um, and it's the same with their invoicing and putting purchase invoices in, it's a very, very simple process. So it's a big thumbs up from us with reference to free agent. The free agent won't suit everyone and they fully admit that as well. So don't think that I'm pushing free agent because it's a very, very good piece of software. They won't suit everyone and they admit that themselves. Um, if you look at, if you're part of the free agent, you'll know Chris Sawford, um, I speak to him quite regularly and we have quite open and frank conversations because we are a partner with Zero QuickBooks Online Free Agent Cashflow. So I have to keep a very, very neutral view. And while Chris is obviously doing his, his job in promoting um, Free Agent and he's very good at it, um, he, admits, he admits that it's not, it's not for everyone. So don't think that this is the software that I think that everyone should go to. This will, this will suit certain businesses. It won't suit every business. And that's just down to then the advice that you get from your advisors, so your professional advisors, your accountants, or a business advisor on making sure that you use the correct software. If you're a NetWest customer, you are a one-man company, so you're a, a private company, there's only you in it, and you're a NetWest customer, this software costs you nothing. So that's obviously a big win. Um, and they'll set it up for nothing. Your accountant, if they're a partner, should know that they'll be able to set it up for you. Um, so take that into account as well. I'm not sure how much they charge if you are not a, a NetWest customer, um, but you'll be able to find that out on their website. And yeah, it's, it's a good piece of software. That's all we've got time for today. Um, if you're new here to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. Also leave comments. Uh, we like to see that if this software is working for people, if, or the video, sorry, are working for people and uh, allowing us to see that we're actually having a positive effect on the small business community um, because the world is changing. HMRC reporting requirements are now kicked in it's now the 3rd of April. They started a couple of days ago. The reporting for corporation tax is going to kick in next year, possibly, maybe the year after. Um, and there's other things that are coming into play. So a small business is not as easy as just going, 
giving all the paperwork to the accountant once a year. There's going to be much more regular contact with your accountant. And it's about having that relationship and the accountant being of a mindset of a future um, sort of scalability driven accountant who looks at all this software as tools rather than chores. Um, so by all means, speak to your accountant. If you want to have a look at our website, by all means. I'm not on here to just try and sell to new clients. This software, is, these videos are made for our current clients and for the wider public. I'm not going to lie, if I get clients off it, great. But I'm not here to advocate that you should come to us. Go and speak to your own accountant. If they can help you, they can help you and that's great. And that's all we want. We want the small business community to not feel like they're being bullied and not feel like that they're in the dark. Because this software, these packages can be very very useful so like i said that's all we've got time for today hit the subscribe hit the notification leave a comment and we'll see you soon bye